To solve the given equation, we need to find the value of the variable that satisfies the equation or makes the equation true. In order to do this, we need to isolate the variable on one side of the equation. Notice how this equation has a fraction, and therefore, we will first clear the parentheses and then clear the fractions from the equation by multiplying both sides of the equation by the least common denominator. So again, the first step is to clear the parentheses on the left by distributing three-fourths. And remember, we can think of two as two over one. Distributing three-fourths times x is three-fourths x, minus three-fourths times two, or three-fourths times two over one is equal to six-fourths. And then we still have minus three equals three. Now notice how we could simplify six-fourths. However, we are going to clear the fractions from the equation by multiplying both sides of the equation by the least common denominator, which we can see is equal to four. So when we have fractions in an equation, we need to decide whether we want to work with the fractions in the equation and then isolate the variable, or first clear the fractions from the equation and then isolate the variable. And again, in this video, we will be clearing the fractions from the equation. So for the next step, we will multiply both sides of the equation by four. And now let's go ahead and show the three products on the left. We have four times three-fourths x minus four times six-fourths minus four times three equals on the right side, four times three. And now to determine each product. With the products involving fractions, let's write four as a fraction with the denominator of one. And now for the first product, we will simplify out the common factors between the numerators and denominators. Notice how we have a common factor of four between the numerator and denominator. Four divided by four simplifies to one in the numerator and the denominator. Notice now we just have one times three x, which is three x. Now we have minus, again simplifying before multiplying, four divided by four simplifies to one in the numerator and denominator, giving us just one times six, and therefore we have minus six, and then we have minus four times three, which is minus 12, equals four times three, which is positive 12. Notice by multiplying both sides of the equation by the LCD, we now have an equivalent equation that no longer contains fractions. So now solving this equation, the next step is to combine like terms on the left. Negative six minus 12 is negative 18. The left side simplifies to three x minus 18 equals 12. Next, we add or subtract to isolate the variable term. To isolate three x, we undo minus 18 by adding 18 to both sides of the equation. Simplifying, we now have three x and then negative 18 plus 18 is zero, giving us three x equals 12 plus 18, which is 30. The last step is to multiply or divide in order to isolate the variable. And since three x means three times x, to undo the multiplication, we divide both sides by three. Simplifying, three divided by three simplifies to one. One times x is x. We have x equals 30 divided by three, which is 10. The solution to the equation is x equals 10. And let's go ahead and check this by verifying if we substitute 10 for x into the original equation, it will satisfy the equation. Performing the substitution gives us 3 fourths times the quantity 10 minus two minus three equals three. And let's evaluate the left side on the calculator. Notice how the left side does simplify to three, which gives us three equals three, which is true, verifying the solution is correct. I hope you found this helpful.